Today I am checking the valve clearance on my twister, hammerhead, go-kart. This is the 150cc engine, GY6 UM150 Roman numeral 2 R. It's a pretty simple process. Saw some other videos out there that had some misinformation. Let's jump right into it. You're gonna need an eight millimeter socket or hex head for this bolt. This is a Phillips, but also an eight millimeter, these two here. And then there's one underneath right there. This will allow you access to your flywheel so that you can adjust your crank, piston, cam, valve positioning without having to roll the machine around. I have mine on uh, jack stand, so I can't use the axle. That pops off there like that. So there's your flywheel. Uh, and then you will need an eight millimeter socket as well. Take the head cover off. There's four, two on each side, top and bottom. And you also need to take your valve breather off. Yours is probably just a tube. Um, I cut mine and just put a little external filter on there that needs to be cleaned. Cute little valve train. Set that to the side. Okay. So what you need to do is you want your cam, uh, which is hard to see the lobes. Everyone else said, look at the lobes and everything. How are you gonna do that unless you have a mirror or you're crawling all around? You don't need to do any of that. What you need to do is make sure your cam is not engaging either valve. So we need to make sure we're not on the intake or the exhaust stroke. Easy way to do that. Come around to the other side of the engine. And now I'm gonna turn it with the flywheel. Always go clockwise. There is an arrow on your flywheel. Always turn it clockwise. So this is top dead center right now. But what you'll see here, so this is your cam gear. As you turn that, see that line? So keep turning it until it is parallel in line with the top of the head. This is your head, this is parallel. So, but it's a four stroke engine. You need to make sure that you're not pushing down on either of the intake, the top, or the exhaust, the bottom, rocker arm. And you can check that one may be loose and one may be tight. If they're both loose, then you're at top dead center and they're not engaged. But it, again, if you, Turn this again. You can hear the air moving, but also you can see them. There you go. There's the intake. And there's that line. And then we'll put it back at parallel. Intake is loose, exhaust is loose. So down, you should be able Come over here, tap it style, 10 millimeter nut on your uh, rocker arm, tap it there. Just take a 10 millimeter, loosen that nut. Here's, and then here's your exhaust. Over here. Same thing, loosen that uh, four thousandths or 0 0.10 millimeter clearance on the intake and five thousandths on the exhaust or 0 0.12 millimeter. And what you'll do is slip it up in between the arm. See that little bit of clearance there? You can't guess that. You have to get your feeler gauges, slip it in between this post and the top of your valve, where that clearance is. Loosen this nut, 
back this out, stick it in there, tighten this down finger tight to where it's dragging, but not easily or too hard, right? Take pliers, hold that, and then take the 10 mil and tighten that up. 0 0.005 or 0.12 millimeter clearance. 0 0.004 or 0.12 millimeter clearance on the intake. Top of the engine. Assembly is reverse of removal, and she should purr like a kitten for you. Good luck.